Hey guys, today we're playing a pretty new Ichio game called Lorraine. The graphics from the screenshots on the page looked really cool. Let's get into it though. Damn, she looks so cool. Day one. Oh! Damn, Lorraine looks sick as fuck. Damn, she looks so cool. Oh, what's this? I think that's an inventory. Uh, yeah, it is. Interact, move, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Seven, D. I no longer find any consolation in the pews of this chapel. It's time to let go. Oh no. Damn, she looks so fucking cool. Okay, I just popped myself in the top right corner because I realized I was blocking her very pretty little uh, Lorraine picture. Farewell then. It is time we part ways in this world. I have to... I have to speak to the Undertaker. Damn. The style of this woman. I'm sorry, but dude, she is so fucking sick looking. Oh, look how she runs! The elegance, the style! Oh, I love it. I wonder how long this game is. I literally didn't read anything about it. these graphics too. And the music is nice. Sorry guys, don't mind me walking over and into your graves. Pick. Violets. I should have brought some flowers. But these should be fine too. Those don't really look like flowers, but sure. Oh, they were there. Okay, cool. Oh, that fucking gothic swagger. Just like, fuck it up, Lorraine. Fuck it up. I love it. So did she lose her husband or... What's the deal, Lorraine? By the way, I'm sorry for your loss. Ah, that must be the Undertaker. I want to explore first. Oh, who's that? Is that the Undertaker or is that the Undertaker? Hello, sir? Does he have a... What is going on with his face? Oh no, it's a uh, armor mask thing. I thought he had like a Chelsea smile. Bruh. Why don't you talk to me? I'm a beautiful woman. What the fuck? Okay, I'll go talk to him. A pungent smell of alcohol hits you as you approach the Undertaker. Good morning, miss. I mean, uh, Mrs. Barker. Serious condolences. I'm sorry to tell you that due to the new ordinances, I would have to unload your husband's body from the coffin into the mass grave. The mass grave? What? I know, but listen up. The guard on duty today is a buddy of mine who I know very well. And I know he has a thing for young, desperate damsels. Oh, yuck. Maybe with a little bit persuasion. I'll talk to him. Splendid. Bring me a permit and I'll take him downstairs. <laughs> Dude. Yuck. So it is her husband. Oh, man, I didn't even realize those were women. I thought they were like trees. Darlene and I are deeply sorry for your loss, Lorraine. Thank you, Colleen. He was a good man. So, uh, ahem. Here's some funeral confectionery to cheer you up. Funeral confectionery? Is that a, is that a thing? Oh, yeah, thank you. Funeral confectionery. 
Dude, I fucking love the style of this. The outfits are beautiful, their face masks. Gorgeous. I love the gothic vibes. Absolutely gorgeous. Gosh, her beautiful swaggerly walk. I'm not going anywhere until I've said my last goodbye to him. I know, Lorraine, baby. It's just, I just like to interact with everything first. We're going to explore a bit before going to Old Mate God. Speak. Puss, puss. You pet the cat. Oh my god, I thought that was like a stone cat, not a real cat. <laughs> the cat gently meows. Aw, nice. Oh, it purred. Nice one. Examine. A s the statue of a melancholic crying angel. Fitting. Timothy, would you like a delicious, scrumptious, sweet treat? Yes, ma'am. But you can have it only if you give me the green juice. Deal, ma'am. Here you go then. I'm sorry, what? Why does this kid have absinthe? I'm sorry? Why does this ch Why does this child have absinthe? <laughs> the fuck? Look, I've never seen so many coffins on top of each other. And I have also never seen so many cages and reinforced coffins. Is it because of resurrectionists? Nah, no, probably grave, um, grave robbers. Especially if this is, uh, you know, during an economic downturn. Especially if there's wealthy people in this graveyard. Alrighty, let's go talk to the, uh, suspect guard. Is this in like England during a plague or something? Is that why there's a mass grave? Ma'am? So, I happen to have a little bottle of green fairy for a guard in need of a drink. Ah, oh, I see. Good old me, sequence breaking. Well, well. And I happen to have a burial permit for a widow in need. You're a scumbag. Here you go. Take it and don't tell anyone. And condolences. Thank you. Burial permit. You feel a pang in your stomach. The little scene with the guard disgusted you. But at least he will still have dignity in his death. Yeah, sorry Lorraine. Here's the permit. Oh. Well, pay your last respects. Say your last goodbyes and let's get it over with. Gosh, what a dickhead. Oh, this is his, his um, coffin. Oh, hubby. Goodbye. day after. Damn, I'm sorry, the fucking absolute swagger of Lorraine. Gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. Also, that's so, like, the movement and just the, the vibes completely remind me of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Oh, gosh, the style. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's explore your beautiful gothic mansion. Yay! Oh, 
look at yourself. Darn it! I look like as if I hadn't slept in a month. Poor babes. Under the bed. Ah, uh, what's this? Dried flower. Okay. Trusty old grandfather clock. I had to get it fixed a week ago. Well, even a broken clock tells the exact time twice. I mean, true. Look at picture. A copy of our my wedding painting. I refuse to take a postmortem daguerreotype. 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 Framing the living alongside the dead is macabre to say the least. I don't know how to say daguerreotype. I know it was the very first um, type of like photography that was a bit more available to uh, not, well, I don't know if it was to the average person, but when photography it was a bit more common. gramophone. I should use it more often to break the silence in this house. Rat! <gasps> Nasty little creature. I have to find a way to get rid of that scroll. that dialogue sorry she said something about finding bait in the kitchen oh this piece of cheese has a foul odor maybe it is what lured that rat inside it might be useful look at her eyeshadow fucking sick interact this might be the perfect spot to set up a trap have to kill the rat, I suppose. Oh, I've got to find a trap first, though. This looks like the dining room. Are they saying this is the kitchen? Rusty, old, and dented. This cage might be the perfect trap. Oh, cool. A little inventory. This style is really cool. Just need some bait now. An engineering marvel. Well, I mean, Lorraine, you're being a bit overdramatic. And now we wait. Perhaps it would be wise to step away from. Yeah! <laughs> Lorraine, you silly lady. You hear a metallic clanging sound. That was fast. Ta da! Gosh, that's quite a large rat. Ah, that's what you get. I feel lightheaded. Damn corset. I need to lie down on the sofa for a moment. I'll take care of you later, Mr. Rat. Just a second. Oh, 
Oh my god, hubby? Hubby zombie? The fuck? Hubby. You let out an ear piercing cry. Lorraine! Oh my. Don't look at me. How is it? I said don't look! Help me. Tell me, is it really you? Yes. How? Believe me, it's me. It's really me. But just help me, will you? I'll do. I need clothes. Clothes, really? Yes. Eh? I wouldn't think that would be your first priority right now, but I mean, sure, hubby. Hey, he's cool too. We're, we're, we're like the coolest gothic couple. Not now. I want to check on the brat. Fine. I'll go get him clothes. His priority is to look gothically fashionable. I see. I see how it is. These are the cleanest clothes. Clothes. I am very intrigued right now. Ah, so he is a zombie. I'm sorry? One week later? What is happening? Dude, it is so rare to see fully animated, like, good quality cutscenes in, like, an Ichio horror game. It is so sick. This is so Vampire Masquerade. Another night of, uh, pest control. Oh, she's finding animals for him. Maybe I should look for something bigger than the usual rats. Something that lasts more than a day. Maybe something that meows. Snatch some cats! <gasps> Lorraine! Fuck! Damn. Oh, sorry, cat. Kidnap? Hey, kitty kitty! In the bag! Cat bag? Fuck! gets nervous. Hush, kitty. You won't have to suffer much longer. Damn. I wonder how long this is. It doesn't look like you can say. One thing I do hate about um, a lot of indie games is even if they're only like an hour or so, I still wish we could save. This place looks very European. Guards are gonna question why I'm like I have multiple cats in a bag. Okay, so did I? We'll go this way first. How many cats am I like capturing, by the way? I might have to turn this my brightness, my lights down because I'm struggling a bit to see stuff. Alright, 
right, sorry kitty. Get in my bag. I'd rather avoid attracting the guards attention. Better to stay away from them. Yeah, I mean, ma'am, you're capturing cats. Uh, I think it might be a little bit questionable. Is there anything? Okay. Get in my bag. Come in here. Two cats bag. Bruh. I mean, have you tried to ever grab a cat that does not want you to grab it? The cats start fighting. Shut up! I swear to God, if I get caught because of you nasty cats, perhaps one more should suffice. Another cat? The rain! You can't put three cats in a bag! Well, what I, what I was saying is, I feel like you would struggle to put even one cat in a bag. Trying to get a cat to do anything it doesn't want to do, especially physically, it's like, no. They'll scratch the absolute shit out of you. Especially stray cats. Come on, you're the only one left. Done. Bag full of cats! Dude. The cats are getting really aggressive. Shut up, shut up, shut up! my god. Three weeks later. I'm sorry Lorraine, you are now irredeemable. You are fucked up. Damn, this is dark. door is locked. Dude, this is fucking dark! Oh, so my dear Lorraine, why don't you come here and tell me a few things? You seem to be doing very well. I would say yes. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. It's as if my husband is always watching over me. Yes, yes, it's always like this. So where is the tea? It's coming. Oh no, she's gonna progress on to feeding him people next, isn't he? Isn't she? Uh, uh, I was right! It literally just says kill! Dude! Fuck, Lorraine. You fucking, like, you know, went into the descent of evil very fast. Can I at least give him some tea first? At least, like, drug him, ease him into this shit? Oh my lord. There's just a knife there. Fuck. Oh, it is the kitchen. There is a sink and stuff. Okay, no tea, but I just want to have a little peep upstairs. Ah, oh, not now. It would be rude to keep our guest waiting. Oh my, Lorraine. Take Neff. Kill. Don't let him escape! Oh my gosh, Lorraine! Has he gone upstairs? Oh my! This is crazy. This has just escalated. How much blood have you left everywhere, Lorraine? Clean that shit up! Please don't! Shut up! Find him and kill him. Oh my gosh, so we're still going. In the bath now? Wow. He's almost done! 
look, he's so... Oh, oh, she locked the door when he came in. That's right. But he is a dude. He couldn't defend himself. Please, I have a family. Delightful. I thought I already killed him. Why are you doing this? What in tarnation? I've never had to make so much mess. I see that's your priority. The knocking gets insistent. Shit. Oh my lord. You, you want to clean up a bit first? You know. Yeah, You're not going to answer the door like this, are you? Surely not. Hello? Mrs. Barker, we were called by the neighbours because of the loud commotion. Fuck. I'm sorry, a rat got in and I panicked. And the male screams? Uh, I do not know what you're talking about. Can I come in? Shit. Just a second, I'm extremely unkempt. I need to hide the body. Immediately. I need a bag. A bag. Should have played some music while you're killing him at least. Dude. And now all the music has just stopped. Search for body bag. This will do. Quick, the body. Damn, Laurie must be really strong if she's like able to put, like, kill a dude, put him in a bag, and move him somewhere. The knocking gets very insistent. Quick! So her husband was in there. And he finally takes her. Is that it? Interesting. Abnocto, that's the developer. Okay, I fucking loved that. That was so good. Okay, when I'm looking for cool, short, indie horror games, I want to see more of this shit. Like, this was, it wasn't just a fucking, you know, a slasher serial killer dude is following you around. It was actually a unique snippet, like, short little horror story kind of thing. And they actually managed to tie it up the whole story in a short experience with it still having every piece it needed to have. And at first you're just like, oh this poor sweet very hot gothic woman, like her husband's just died. What are they going to do with this in such a short amount of time to make it a horror experience? And to see that unravel, like her character unravel so fast, like that cat part, I was not expecting that, that shocked me, that was horrifying to see that escalate and then her get her own repercussions for her actions for devolving into that that is a like a cool little horror story wrapped up with a little bow of beautiful music beautiful atmosphere design character design like Lorraine is a bit uh, evil at this point but her character design is so cool she is beautiful <laughs> she has so much swagger that was short but I absolutely loved that that was so cool absolutely loved that 
I'm gonna have to look if this developer has done anything else or is um, making anything else at the moment because I'll 100% be keeping an eye on them. Like, fully animated, gorgeous little cutscenes, a snippet of actual horror that's not just fucking dark spaces and someone chasing you. Like, this is a breath of fresh air in the fucking indie horror scene, in my opinion. It was so worth the, I think it was a couple dollars, um, a couple Australian dollars anyway, on uh, Itch.io. Can't remember how much exactly it was, but it wasn't free. But I actually would recommend, if you like it, actually paying for the game and supporting the developer, because this is really cool. I want to see more of this stuff. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed Lorraine as much as I did. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!